All right, so we'll start a brand new project. Just call it Pong AR. Create project. Uh, first of all, we just create a little ball. Create a sphere. Okay, we'll call it ball. Second thing, just make sure that's at zero. Second thing we do is uh, create. Uh, we'll create the boundaries. So create a cube. Okay, we'll make it. Uh, make it say 10, 10 meters long. For now. Uh, 10 on the z-axis, okay, and its position can maybe be 5 meters to the left, negative 5 on the x-axis, um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it, so we just go, okay, bound, probably going to think about it in terms of like north, south, east, west, just so we've got some, you know, uh, orientation, okay, and we just uh, duplicate that. Call it bounds east and just pop that off on the five on the positive axis of the x. All right, and okay, now we're also going to create bounds to the south and north. Create another cube. Make this one, yeah, uh, 10 meters, 10 meters wide. Okay, and they're actually going to be really tall so that. So it doesn't matter whereabouts on the screen, you'll still be able to click on it. Like, yeah, you know, when you're, when you're figuring out where it is, you don't have to go exactly on the line. You can sort of like touch a bit below the paddle to move it. So we just make it say 20 or tw yeah, 20 meters high. Okay, and we can disable this mesh renderer. We don't need that because it's just going to be, it's just going to act like a, all we really need is this box collider here. Um, yeah, and okay, and we'll pop that negative five on the Z axis. We may need to adjust this a bit closer once we get the paddle going as well. Make sure the paddle is just a bit ahead of the collider. Okay, so we'll call that bounds south. Okay, and we can duplicate that and just make this the north one. North. Okay, and make sure that's positive on the z-axis. Yep. Okay, so we got now. Now we've got something looking a bit like this. We've got your north, your south, your east, your west, and now we can make the little paddles. Okay, so we just create another cube. Um, reset that position. Okay, maybe make it make it two meters wide. Uh, pretty like really skinny. So maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.2 meters thick. So it kind of looks a bit like that. Okay, and now we're gonna bring that back as well. So we'll put that. Uh, on the z-axis, just bring it to negative five, and this will be the this will be the the player paddle. Um, okay, so we can name that the player paddle. Uh, okay, and this is where we just got to check that you see these. Uh, if we go to the bound south, you see how you see how the paddle at the moment is inside the bounds, and what's going to happen there is it'll the yeah the you know it'll the ball will hit the bounds before it before it hits the paddle. So we just bring it forward. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we'll bring it, bring it backwards. Um, maybe, well, let's see, you can probably calculate it. If it's one meter thick and, and this paddle is at exactly five meters back, then if we bring it back to, so its center is half a meter behind, so it's like negative 5.5, that's going to make the paddle stick out just a little bit. Maybe not enough. You know, like, it's worth, it's worth mentioning, you kind of got to imagine, like, uh, uh, each frame, if the ball, if the ball goes far enough, uh, in one frame, far enough past the paddle into the collider, it will technically collide with both the paddle and the, and the boundary. So, so yeah, we can play with that. If, if it becomes a problem, we can work on it. It's good to know where the bugs can come up, I suppose. Okay, yeah, so now we can, okay, well, with the paddle, we can duplicate that and change that to to the computer paddle. Okay, and just make sure that's uh, positive on the z-axis. Um, oh yeah, and we want to make sure we do this northern boundary at 5.5 on the z-axis as well. Okay, just check that looks right. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, um, and yeah, last thing worth, worth doing, absolutely. Last thing we've got to do is just color it all. Little thing I like to do is just, just go like, I don't know, some theme you really like. I'm going to go with, like, a synth wave. So, like, just look up synth wave. 
find a find a color or look up whatever I don't know fantasy or or oh, rainbow whatever sort of uh, color palette color palette you like the you'd like your game to look like. You just open up Unity alongside it, and we just go to Assets, create a new folder, and call it Materials. Okay, and we just create a whole bunch of materials. Just go create material. Let's call it Matt. I'm not going to bother with the names. Just go like, okay, Matt, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, and then for the first one, up here we've got Albedo, this little color dropper. If you click on that color dropper, then you can just select some part of one of these pictures that you like. Okay, and then you can you can drag that material. Say I want the ball to be yellow, I drag that material onto the ball. Okay, and so maybe the paddles I want to be this kind of this blue color. So I'll just grab that and go like, okay, maybe this darker blue, kind of interesting. Okay, and you can drag that onto each of the paddles. Okay, and maybe maybe the boundaries to be this like reddish, uh, that that grid color. So boundaries. Just gonna select. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, that looks. Oh, whoops, that's purple. Okay. Oh, maybe over here is nicer. All right, that one's good. Okay. So yeah, it, yeah, it looks kind of kind of interesting. Remember, in AR, there's not going to be this background. It's just going to pop out of you know with of a photograph of of whatever's uh, whatever room room you're in. We could we could do a a, a grid for it to be on later or something. Um, yeah, so that's yeah, so that's the scene setter. All we got to do is give it a bit of functionality.